Mm. This banana pudding is good, babe. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm, glad, I'm glad we got this banana pudding. Oh, hi. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Monty. I'm Don. And welcome. Mm. Mm -hmm. Babe, this, this banana pudding is amazing. We usually like to do a little something before we start shooting, prepare something, but we didn't have time to make banana pudding, so we decided to go to this place in LA called um, Magnolia mm -hmm. Bakery. Mm -hmm. So good, it's so good. It kind of reminds me of my grandmother's banana pudding. I kind of grew up eating this. This is kind of part of my culture of um, eating this type of dessert. But anyway, I know you guys are probably wondering why we haven't posted a video in a while because we've been extremely busy with our career jobs. Dawn's back to work at the maternity leave after having a baby. And I'm just finishing up one of my projects and it's towards the tail end and it's extremely busy. So balancing between those two and, and the girls is, is pretty hectic for us. And also my mother came into town. She came in town to visit her grandkids. So we've been pretty busy with our schedule. Mm -hmm. Not just that, my mother, um, she wanted to throw this little toddler tea party mm -hmm. for the girls. I thought it was so cute, it right? It was cute. Yeah, my she mother- She put a lot of effort into it. And... Yeah, my mother-in-law came out support. Mackenzie participated in her little sister's toddler tea party. It was really cute. You know what? I, we have a clip. Let me just show you a little quick clip of it. Tell mm -hmm. me what you think about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that it was so cute and it was really fun to see the little girls get all dolls up and um, even the grandmas you know did you notice my mom's super pink sorry <laughs> yeah it was so cute she matched she, identical she actually. really did the the uh, tone of the pink I guess was uh, pretty close to what everybody else had on and my dad was teasing my mom about how she was trying to figure out what to wear for the tea party all morning so it was pretty funny it was perfect <laughs> it was perfect the colors were coordinated perfect yeah yeah it was cute but anyways uh, coming back to this video we wanted to complete or not complete we wanted to continue our series on making a marriage work and specifically this video we wanted to talk about finances well you asked do we really need another video on finances i know youtube is filled with tons of resources that even i have looked up myself but i think we do need another video and we really wanted to make this a little bit different we wanted to talk about it from our culture backgrounds um basically what we grew up um the mentality we grew up with when it came to finances that's what we wanted to focus on for this video so for me, growing up, I always saw my parents safe. I mean, if you've probably heard of Indians being, um, or Indians being called cheap or frugal, and that is all true. We are super frugal. We don't like spending a lot of money on expensive things, I would say, expensive things. Um, and that is because we really want to save, save for a rainy day, save for the future of the kids, like education, marriage, all that kind of stuff. And seeing that so much growing up, that is, my mentality now you know uh, as an adult with finances i tend to want to save of course after my bills are paid but the, my first mentality is to save 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 and if anything is left over let's spend you know spend it on good things nice things whatever so or experiences and so that is what i brought into my marriage as far as me you know i grew up in a single parent household and we practically live from check to check paycheck to paycheck and our mentality was, you know, spend first and save whatever is basically left over. So I kind of grew up with that mentality where 
I was just, you know, I would just maintain all our bills and, you know, and then I spend, you know, after my bills are paid and whatever was left over was considered saving. So that kind of applied into my younger adulthood. And, you know, I realized that wasn't working for me and I had to start teaching myself being more disciplined when it came to finances. And then once I've done that, I apply that into my marriage as well. Mm. So as you can see, we came from such polar ends when it came to money. And so the first thing we needed to do to get on the same page was communicate. Like our first video said, um, communication. We really just needed to sit down and figure it out. Like figure out where we wanted to spend the money. Do we want to invest it? Do we want to save it? Do we want to purchase something nice? Um, I mean, just anything, you know, or even just communicate frustrations when it came to like something you didn't agree on together. Um, on spending or saving or whatever you know so it is really so important to talk to your partner um, about their habits as well as your habits sit down and talk right babe right absolutely I completely agree with my wife um, and secondly we also we had to get on the same page with like short-term um, goals and long-term goals and what I mean by that short-term goals are like things with like debt reduction um, saving up for different projects right. um, or items items you know different things like that we discuss what we want to do for like long-term um, goals and things of that nature so that's what we did for like our short-term um, goals long-term goals is more like trying to create some type of uh, some generational wealth mm -hmm. as I would say you know we're just really trying to practice that to start leaving money for our kids and also to teach them um, the importance of uh, being financially savvy and disciplined when it comes to finances as well because that's something that we just learned and we just keep continuing just building with that so when it comes to long term that's basically uh, what we're trying to uh, practice so after we figure out short-term long-term goals when it comes to daily life we make sure a monthly expenses of course paid and then after that is a little bit saved up we try to save what we can and also put some aside just to enjoy life. You know, Monty loves experiences of all kinds, hotels, nice hotels, great food. Um, I love to travel, he loves to travel. So we really just try to enjoy life, you know. Um, we do live one life, right? So, and we don't wanna just only save, I guess. And so I'm learning to kind of, um, to not, to really just enjoy it, honestly. Like just enjoy experiences in life what do you think babe is the one thing that you feel you've learned or changed um, after we've been married let's say learn from me or changed rather mm, that's a good question well what I've learned from Dawn don't let this get to your head <laughs> what I've learned from Dawn is the, um, to save more and really think before I make any type of emotional purchases that's one thing that she's really good at. She doesn't make any kind of emotional purchase, absolutely, whatsoever, none. <laughs> Me, I had the mentality, um, I do make emotional purchases because I I just know when it comes to quality and I know it's a good deal, sometimes I just don't like to think about it too much because I know it's gonna be gone. So that's why I'm quicker to jump to a deal or when it comes to spending certain things. Dawn, on the other hand, is completely different, no matter what. Even if she loves it, she likes to really think about it before making that purchase, and it's really good. So we pretty have a, we have a pretty good balance, and that's one thing that I've learned from her. And I'm dude, I'm getting better at it. I'm not 100 there yet, but I that find my true. I find myself getting better with when it comes to saving more and, and making emotional purchases. So, babe, how about you? <laughs> hmm. So for me. I think what I've learned is how to enjoy money more. I think before I was um, really focused on saving, and I still am. I'm a very conservative spender, also not much of a risk taker. But I've learned to take some more risks, I would say. I wouldn't say I'm still a heavy risk taker. What? But really? maybe some more risks, but also just to enjoy experiences and enjoy quality. I think one thing I've really learned from Monty is to spend money on quality. I um, tend to spend money on non-quality items and I justify spending money on Amazon, like I guess a lot of women out there. Oh my God. Um, but I think I've learned to just enjoy quality, you know, just really appreciate quality and not feel bad, I guess, about spending money on it. So that's what I've learned from you. Really? 
I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Um, remember, the main thing to remember is that you guys are on the same team. You guys are focused on the same goals and um, you know, running towards the same goal. So keep each other accountable, have fun. Um, if you are frustrated with, let's say, your partner on something that has happened financially, communicate, you know, and let your partner know you don't like it. I, that's what I do with Monty all, all the, the time. time. Seriously, I mean, when Monty wants to spend full price on something, I'm like, no, didn't you see this 15% off coupon? Like, why would you spend full price on that? Drives me crazy. Sense. Drives me crazy. I don't understand why it drives me crazy because it's supposed to save money, right? But anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you back here for our next one.